Welcome back to the channel, Explorers. On today's adventure, we're going to be diving into the power plants of the past. The first power plant in this series, the Port Richmond Generating Station in Philadelphia. This behemoth, this monstrous icon to the industrialization of the early 20th century in America, this generating station was unrivaled in its size and appearance. From a 130-foot high dome ceiling to the neoclassical Romanesque design of its outside facade and curving rooftop. Every aspect of this building screamed, electricity is here to stay. And stay it did. The Port Richmond Generating Station operated on this site for more than 60 years, taking up to 50,000 pounds of water an hour out of the Delaware River. During its heyday, it housed one of the largest turbo generators in the world, added in 1935 to supply current to the newly completed electrification of the Pennsylvania Railroad from New York to Washington, D.C. So make sure you stick around to the end for scenes of the upcoming video, Southwark Generating Station. Well, we're out here on the backside of Port Richmond. Down there you can see the coal towers. You can see the rest of the main building. Turbine hall, you can see the ground roof up there. Probably feed water tanks over there. What's happening, man? Where'd that thing go? Where? Yeah? Damn, damn, all right. You on the job? Oh, all right, man. No problem, brother. This is an active substation. There's always somebody out here working. Definitely one of the sketchiest places I ever got in. Well, guys, here we are in Port Richmond Power Plant. I can't believe it. Look at that, is that cool? They're running in there from the roof. Folks, here we are, one of the most iconic turbine halls in the country, for that matter, in the world. This thing is unbelievable. Look at the size of that. Look at that Art Deco ceiling. This is the gantry crane they would have used to service these turbines in the turbine hall.
Irvine Hall is unbelievable. This massive hundred year old turbine hall, it's impressive, let me tell you. Well, you guys, I took a moment to stop back by here, back by Port Richmond, you know, by far one of the most iconic, you know, the, the Art Deco generating station in Philadelphia. Now, unfortunately, it's a Philadelphia Parking Authority impound lot, but uh, it's getting repurposed. I think they're turning it into a venue. This is the thing, this is what's left. You really can't get in there. They got hundreds and hundreds of cars parked back in there and, uh, I just hopped up on this thing to take a look. Impound lot. There's what's left of the power plant. Man, I mean, still a stunning spot. I can remember the night that uh, I ran out this gate to the street racing after being uh, on an adventure in there, to say the least. All right, you guys, that's all we got for now. Hey, you guys, it's Andy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're in the city of brotherly love along the Delaware River, checking out one of these abandoned power plants. This one is still intact.